so I picked up these little tiny, tiny, tiny little convex. Uh, there's a pet smart in my town, and they have a male and female in a setup, and they spawn. I hope much, as you know, you guys already know, these guys spawn continuously and a lot. So they had these guys, you know, up for adoption. You just go and then take as many as you want and bring them home. So being that's the first time I've ever played around with convicts, I decided to get five. You know, it's all free. I'm going to give them a good home for now. And hopefully I can get a nice pair from this. And it'll be cool. I think it's great. So here are the five. I think there's one out out front. He seems to be the biggest. Uh, I want to say they were about 50 to 60 in this tank. And I just told the girl that works there just to scoop out five. And these are the five. They look awesome. Never played with convicts before. But I'm looking forward to it. You've had a really busy work they look week. pretty it's cool. Really hot out or really cold out, whichever way. And it, you've had quite a bit of the back. Let's see how they interact like and of that how they do when I grow them out. Into that four gallons, right? The, 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 the remaining four all gallons right. that is still left there. And now your salinity could be all the way at .0075 or something like that. What's up, what's up? So these are the new pickups. Me and D just came back from uh, the LFS. Got two more Cenodontists and another OB. That one there is a gold Cenodontist. And that one there, I believe, is a Cenodontist Panda. I'm going to look into it to make sure that's what it is. They had them mixed with uh, Petrocolas, and he was like the different, he had different patterns. As you can see, totally uh, not a Petrocola, for sure. I mean, I could be wrong, but that's not what it's supposed to look like, but I'll keep them. That gold one is awesome. It's like an albino of some sort, but it's goldish, I guess. It's not really an albino. I wanted one that color. The hawk is trying to be tough, like always. There goes these uh, OB looking really nice. We go the Fenestratus, the tank boss. Looking beautiful. I'm gonna turn off the lights in a sec while they acclimate. So these are my two little uh, pickups. Here goes the newest OB. He cut it down big time. I mean, I'll give you a good shot of him when he. Uh, you know, calms down a bit. There goes Big Red. He's probably not gonna have it, but. We got a nice collection of OBs and Cenodontis caps, man. That's what we're getting into lately. He looks really nice, man. You can see his gill plate is like a metallic color. I mean, I'll show you as soon as he uh, colors up again. He's kind of stressed. He hasn't been in the bag long, I will say about a good 15 minutes, 20 minutes maybe. And he came straight into the tank. I mean, I'm kind of lucky the LFS is kind of close to me, so. All right, I'm gonna turn off the lights now, let them cool down. There goes a little baby convict. Being inquisitive, trying to see what's going on in there. They're looking kind of cool. Alright, later.